What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Grisslands. It's a Sal run day two. It's been a couple of days in the real world since I played this game, but I remember that our negotiation deck had nothing going for it and our battle deck was combo focused. And you know what? That's enough for me to get started. Get started buying a graph that helps gain one combo at the beginning of your turn. Helpful. When receiving damage, you only lose up to four combo. Helpful. If you are under 30% health, all attacks inflict two. And so these are both pretty sick, like they're, they're combo focused, more, what more could you ask for? Uh, one per turn sounds great. So we will definitely take that. And then I'm really thinking we should buy the other one too, but let's see what cards you have for sale. Counter, bleed, improvise, no thank you. Is there anything that we want to remove? Combo, 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 trauma, defense, 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 defense. Improvise kind of stinks. I want, might want to get rid of this. Yeah, let's get rid of Stab of the Mirror. Because I want to have a really thin deck. And we have plenty of shills still, actually. Let's see if we can't get something to give our negotiation deck some direction. Spend three dominance, gain two actions. I don't think we have the means to generate dominance, really. Nope. All right. So let's do nothing. Let's remove nothing. And you know what? If we have the means, we should add a craft slot. So that we have room for more graphs in the future. Getting hurt sucks. So let's see. Let's see if we can't recover some health in the upcoming negotiations. Now, there's a lot of potential for good. Uh, let's try to not mess it up. Five influence, really nice to have early on because it ensures that these all do a ton of damage. Let's get this incept out there as well. All right, we don't have a good negotiation deck, but I would love to win this negotiation. Random target, expend any number of cards and gain one smarts for each card expended. How about we expend you? All right, we want to get rid of the Wrath of Hesh, so we need to do four damage to you. This will do two, so let's first draw. We don't have the means to do four damage to you, so we'll defend everybody. We will go ahead, stack more influence. Why are you doing less damage? What's affecting you? Is it, yeah, what's affecting you? Dangerous and influence, got you, got you, got you. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. All right, we love the auto damage. So it's a, it's a, that's a fantastic graph to have. If we destroy this argument, we will draw cards from vision. And also, I figured out what was causing the auditory issues. I have a bad headphone cable. Uh, I ordered a new one and it should be here soon, but yeah, it's just a bad connection on my headphone cord that's causing it to freak out. Alright, glad you're dead. And on this turn, all we can really do is draw more cards, I guess. It doesn't really help us at all. It gave us one stack of dominance, but it's going to disappear immediately. All right, we are taking four damage from your core. Uh, I don't like it. You and your opponent restore six resolve. I don't like that either. So I'm thinking we'll play this, we expand you. I doubt this is gonna be helpful because uh, there's a lot of health that we have to take down on you. Get the doubt. Protector and influence and move on. Uh, 
Okie dokie. We are not being hit this turn. What is this? When destroyed, restore to resolve for every opponent argument. We don't need to focus on that. We can focus on anything else. Let's gain some dominance for this turn. And let's swing for the fences. Love destroying. One action left. Let's go ahead and hit one more time. Pretty good turn, all things considered. All right, we are fatigued, so no longer is the experience on the cards relevant. Uh, you are not attacking me this turn. That's very uh, nice for me. Let's go ahead and get more doubt out there. Is there anything else we would like to expend? Not really. We have no dominance, however. One, two, three. You know what? I like this for the guaranteed two. Let's go ahead and ensure you are destroyed. And then we can start swinging on face. All right. I do like that he's been dismantled and we have all three of his intel and he's not summoning any other arguments. So we swing. We swing, and he's not hitting us, so we got lethal on him. Very nice fight. Plenty of rewards for us. If this card destroys an argument, gain one dominance. It's too weak. I really don't like the low damage range on it. When this card is drawn, deal one damage to a random open argument and gain one influence. No thank you. How about we draw a card? How about three doubt? Attack with this card twice? Sure. If we do start getting dominance, it would be useful. But we don't get dominance very often, so let's hedge our bets. Three secret intelligence. 60 shills, 60 shills, and restoration. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. We completed 100 quests, so we can unlock some more, some more of whatever these are perks in the future. Fish, what you got for us? Remove a negotiation card, increase max resolve by 5. Uh, you might want to remove quick thinking. It kind of stinks. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. Or if I use it, it's because my deck sucks, and I'm, it's a Hail Mary, you know? It's not a it's not core to my deck winning. I don't know what's your deal. I might drink a few. Never mind, I'm broke. And do I know what your deal is? Your deal is first aid. Garbage. No thank you. Let's see. You need to pick sides or convince the weakest member of the crowd. Let's go ahead and... Oh, audio cut out again. But we'll see if... Hopefully, hold on. Can you guys still hear? You can. Cool. So I have a little little backup sound going, but uh, you guys should not have a difference in what you're hearing. Anyway, you need to pick sides or what? Let's go ahead and fight against the stronger opponents because. They this is the one where they betray each other, or where they double cross me. I'd much rather have them be weakened, if that makes any sense. Oh my god, what a terrible noise that was. I'm gonna hold on, pause the video while I fix the sound issues. Alright, so the sound should be normal for you guys again. Uh, we are being hit a lot, and there's not a lot we can do about it. So going to embrace the fact that this is going to hurt and then let's see if we can't improvise anything interesting. Improvise power for the future and there you go. Yeah, like I said, it's going to hurt a lot. I, I hate it. It's going to be absolutely terrible. But here we go. Who is hitting me for 12? 
a zealot here. I might just stun you. How much combo do I have? One. Okay, and I have four actions. Let's see, let's see. What I can do... I'm thinking one, two, three here. Okay. Okay. We have at least four combo, gain three power. So I don't have four combo. I have one. This will give me more. And I'm not going to bother going for you. I'm going to go for you guys. Because you have a ton of power. I am going to stun you, however. Because I don't appreciate being hit for 12. Alright, now we're not being hurt this turn. So let's go ahead. We only defend ourselves. We don't respect these people. Uh, you're getting hit for 12 already, so I don't need to hit you anymore. So we'll punch you one time in the mouth and move on to our next turn. Now, I would really love you guys to target these people. You know, anybody besides me, really, would be fantastic. You have counter set up, and you're hitting me for 12 damage. That sucks. What can we do about it? Not much. We'll heal a little. Deal 3 bonus damage if you have any combo and gain 2 combo. Alright. I'm gonna put this Lumicite in the grave. Spend 2 combo. This costs 1 less. I have no problem spending 1 to put you down. And I'm not gonna hit you because you're gonna hurt me and I don't like it. You can go ahead and spend your turn whacking each other. But please, uh, don't hurt me. What can we improvise here? We can improvise more power. You'll love to see it. He no longer has counter up and ready. So we hit him once, twice, and then spend two combo deals two bonus damage and hits all enemies instead. So this is 5 damage or 4. No. Because it hits twice and we have extra power, let's not... Okay, so our fatigue is probably going to kick in next turn. So let's see if we can't end him as soon as possible. Stalling is no longer in our favor. Uh, you're almost done, you're almost done. I don't think we have any debuffs, but... And you guys really did a terrible job of killing these guys. We're not fatigued yet, which is cool. Is there any drawing? Yes, let's draw. And everything in our hand is ready to go. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Let them kill him. And... Oops, you died. Nobody hates me for that, which is awesome. Gain combo equal to the damage dealt by this card? No thank you, I have enough ways to generate combo. Such as this card. Do we want to gain more combo or deal more damage? Let's gain more combo. Gain more combo. I'm going to say it so often it doesn't mean anything anymore. Apply 3, expose, piercing, and destroy the 2 uses. Expose. When receiving defense, they receive half the normal amount. Lumen Darto, this is in your hand. Deal 2 damage to a random enemy whenever you draw a card. We do not draw. Yeah, none of our combo is draw synergistic. The only drawing comes from fight dirty, so we don't really want this either. So we'll take the shells and resolve and leave. Got a dangerous reputation. And they didn't betray us, so it's nice. Our health is not in a great place. Intimidate or beat up Malo, but remember, don't kill him. Or convince Astal to do something. I feel like we should... Do we know Malo? I don't believe so. Okay. I think we should convince Astal to do something. Uh, it won't make him hate us. 
and it preserves our health for the boss fight coming up. Yeah. What up, my guy? Now, four damage coming in. We can very easily... Let's see, draw some cards. I don't want to apply composure to our all arguments, so let's be a little unstable first. And that's the perfect top deck, exactly what you want to see. Attack twice with this card, don't mind if I do. And then what would we want to expend? Nothing really. So we move on. Uh, please give me my cards back. Yeah, it was very rude of you. I would like my... I would like my cards back. Now this is unfortunate. We'll get the doubt out there. And a hope. Yeah, you're you're dead for sure. We'll hope that we get our cards back. I did zero damage. It's you knew it was a chance, but you hate to see it anyway. Uh, please return my cards into my hand. Draw three. What is what is your deal? You apply composure whenever I draw hostility. Yeah, I thought so. So destroy this. Okay. I don't know what happened, but I'm in a good spot. Let's apply composure to many arguments. So we're not taking any from from any direction. And our turn's over, I guess. The auto attacker will free those cards. Awesome, awesome. We do have two dangerous cards, that's the issue. Okay. Let's go ahead and remove... You know what? You can hold on to those. I don't need them. We'll swing a face. Let's see. Do you want to draw? We want to protect ourselves and draw a little bit. Attacking twice is what we were looking for. Alright, we're going to take two damage, but that doesn't mean much when we did nine to you. That's alright. You can, you can take those cards. I don't need them. I don't need them. I might need them. Hold on. Let me, let me think about what you've done. Let me draw some cards. There's no way. This isn't going to do enough. Three extra doubt, however. And then a little bit... A little bit of dominance. Might send us the rest of the way. That will just straight up kill you. You know what? Easy. Easy negotiation. The damage of the next card you play this turn is doubled. Attack a random... Yo, this is what we want. I love the autoplay cards. Let's gain some composure while we're at it. Destroy this card, absolutely. Let's be big mean jerks because we do kill plenty of people. Metal on health, you'll love to see it. Alright. Fish, what you got for me? Drop two battle cards or increase max resolve by five. How about you give me those battle cards? What you got here? Improvise, discard, no thank you. Discard, counter, improvise, no thank you. Thanks for the 30 shells. Uh, you want me to spend metal. Where is the one where skipping card drafts grants additional shells? I don't have enough for it. Alrighty then. How about we click on whatever we see is green. Thank you for your service. Goodbye forever. Uh, fish, do me a solid and feed me. All right. All right, all right. What's up, Liqui? You're, uh, you're going to help me. We're taking five. No, thank you. You've both healed, all right? You didn't think that was happening, did you? Nope. Not once did the idea cross your mind. You know why? Because I've already defeated you. Mentally. Not just about defeating you. All, I mean, also mentally, because this is how this negotiation thing works. We're just, it's a battle of minds, but you know what? Don't hurt yourself thinking about it too much. Now, this will automatically destroy you. Let's go for the ploy. And bust you up. 
You love the auto attacks. You love the auto attacks. You're taking five. There's no way I can block it all. However, this will stop you from being destroyed. All right. The auto attackers are busting down. And you're taking seven this turn. That stinks. Let's see if we can't gain more dominance. All right. And then you attack with this card twice. And that gets the auto attacker going. You've only got 11 left. Now the question is, do we play this or do we block a little bit? Uh, there's not going to be any more negotiations today. So go ahead and uh, accelerate towards that end rate if we can. All right. Last couple of turns. Let's go ahead and expend at least one of you. It's annoying. All right. You know, blocking plenty. He's going to hurt himself because he couldn't break through my defenses. And the auto attacker is going to poke him a little bit too. Can we do six damage to you this turn? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. However, we do have four actions, so we can play just about everything. So there's some doubt. There's me being a little bit mean, and there's a 66% chance this works. We low rolled it, however, however, I'm just gonna get that out of here for the extra experience. We got you on doubt. The doubt's gonna end you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Unless you block! Psych. Just kidding, he never stood a chance. Drop one card, return the card to the... Get, get out of here. Composure. Uh, become four. You apply composure. Alright. You convinced him to help you in your upcoming fight? Of course I did. I'm a master of words. Now, you are taking all the hits on turn one. Thank you for your service. Also, I would like to maybe draw? No? Alright, we're going to gain power instead. We're also going to focus on this guy. For no particular reason other than I always focus on this guy and I don't think I've lost to these guys in ever. Now let's see. This might be a turn since we're not getting hit where we just power up. Extremely boring. But we drew two defensive cards and two power up cards and traumatize only works well if you have a attack plan. So it's a setup turn. They're also setting up this turn. It works out. Now these go down. Your hubris is reduced whenever you get hit. So you're both trying to hit me. This will hit twice. Let's hit all enemies. Okay, that reduces it, the damage. And then we'll hit you some more. We'll hit you some more. All right. Now, one last hit. We're down to 13 damage. We are still taking two full hits, so we'll have almost no combo next turn. However, you're almost dead, and I'm feeling pretty okay. Now, we are taking a lot of damage from both of you guys. However, you only have 18 health left. Let's see if we can't generate some combo. Like so. And then gain more. We do have our Flourish ready, but I have no doubt we won't need it. At least for this fight. Uh, we can go ahead and hit you with the basic stab. However, that does make you much angrier. So, this is going to hurt. Alright. So we have him all powered up out of rage. Let's see if we can't... Let's see, four actions. One, two, three, four. No, we don't need to defend. So let's try... Let's try something else. How about we gain combo. Okay. This is still only doing four damage. So I'm thinking we traumatize him so that our ally does double damage instead. There you go. 
You know, we don't we don't have to be the star of the show. We don't have to be the one that capitalizes on the trauma that we in, inflict on our opponents. Let's see. We are being targeted, however. Let's try to improvise a little bit. See if we can draw something better. There you go. Deal three bonus damage. Don't mind if I do. We are still being hit. You are taking 15 damage. All we have to do is hit you for nine and we've got you. So let's heal up a little bit. Hit you for 13 and that's lethal. Pretty easy fight. Like I said, if you go for the top guy, it's impossible to lose. Is there a difference between the top and bottom guy? I don't know. I've never lost him. Combo points spent for the rest of this turn are regained at the start of your next turn. Not as useful as it looks. Not as useful as it looks. Uh, we would need more draw for this to be great. So let's skip it. It is a rare card though. No, no, no. I'm going to go with my gut. My gut says skip. My gut says you want a thin deck. Improvise a card from your discard pile. Remove all arguments in play. Or apply three composure to your influence invoke by gaining influence. I do love the evoke cards. However, I do believe we are too hostile for a diplomacy deck to work. Do we create many arguments? We kind of do. Kind of. Kind of. We create dominance. We create doubt. Dominance, we try to stack up. Doubt, we try to stack up. Dismiss all opponents' intents as well. Mm. No, I think I think we still want to skip it. I know it was we skipped two rare cards, but all right. I struggle with Sal, and I think it might be because I'm not focused enough. Let's try to have a thin deck. Upgraded cards. A thin deck of just good cards. We'll stab twice because we do actually generate quite a bit of power. Uh, I still think it's not a great card to have. Uh, might re remove the improvise first, but yeah, let's try to keep this as slim as possible. However, these two cards are always good to have, especially as we gain more power. Now here is our grafted word. Gain one action to start your turn. Battle card upgrades of multiple upgrades now have one option fewer. No. At the end of your turn, remove one influence and one dominance. No. Gain one action at the start of your turn. Damage that spills over to your core is increased by two. Yeah. All right. So here's 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 the secret. Never get hit. All right. All right. That's that's our big brain move. It's just don't let any damage spill over in the first place. Also, the audio turned over. But. That is the end of day two, so let's go ahead and spend our money making friends. Because these cards are going to leave our deck immediately. All allies gain plus five health in battle. Useless, but at least now I know what it is. 218 shells, we'll save it for tomorrow in case there's any cool uh, graphs coming. Go to sleep. The bed calls to you, something about being a child. Get me out of here. Our resolve is out full, our health is maxed out. Uh, we didn't add too much to our decks, we got some nice graphs, and I think our decks are coming together. Our negotiation deck still needs a little bit of work, but I am happy about how our battle deck feels. Thanks for the 75 shills, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye